イエーボイどういうそう。We had snow here in Seattle. We usually don't get snow. Sometimes we do. But yeah, we had about 15 inches of snow. So yeah. Ugh. But yeah, back to the grinds, guys. As soon as I saw when it started snowing, I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to go back in and just chill out. So that's what I did. So I was doing the process completely wrong. <laughs> so I figured out that obviously there is a spring inside of here. And then if you do want to remove the spring, you have to. Either press it down with a flathead screwdriver, you have to pull it really hard down, like really, really hard down this part. And pull it down, and once you pull it down, then there's gonna be a 17 mil bolt that's gonna be holding up. So you're gonna put the 17 wrench in there and then start twisting it. And then after you're twisting it, you wanna loosen up these bolts, and then the spring should just come off. I don't think it will sling out. I watched on other people's video too to just to see because I was struggling. I had no idea how to freaking get this thing off. I usually can figure stuff out here and there, but man, this was just, I couldn't not figure it out, but I figured it out. So, yeah, so that's what I have to do. I have to either pull it back or use like a flathead screwdriver to put the 17 mil wrench in it. So, yeah, this side you could pull it really easy, but they don't have a nut on this side. So, yeah. So, this is what I mean by it. I got my flathead screwdriver right here. Put it in here. It's really, really hard. And then you twist it. After you twist it, you can see the 17 mil bolt right there. And you're gonna use a wrench. You gotta throw in the wrench there. And then start loosening that bolt there. So, yeah, let me get, let me grab my 17. Just 
like that. 17's on there. Oh no, there you go. Okay. So I got it off, loose. Man, that's just on there. <laughs> this is hard. All right, so let me loosen this nut right down here. It's already loosened up. I'm gonna grab my screwdriver, my screwdriver, and then loosen that bitch up. Just like that. So that should come out. So you have to loosen it once you loosen the nut. That's the spring. Holy shit, what's inside of you, man? God damn, dude, what is this stuff? Oh my god, oh my god. Holy fuck, there's like a bunch of dirt in here. God damn, dude. But well, anyways, guys, I got the shock right here. Spring right here. It didn't fling off, that was good. <laughs> That's a good thing. And then that's the bottom part of it, and then the shock cover and all that. So yeah, and this was inside too, but I don't think I'm gonna need that. So yeah, I'm gonna put the skateboard bushing on, and then pretty much put everything back together. So yeah. What I'm gonna do is grab this part, use a 17 to loosen this bad boy up. Nice, nicely done. Right, and then throw the skateboard bushing on. Just like that. And put the nut back on. And after that, put this thingy back on. The bottom fork. And after you put this one back on, you want a, you want to stick a screwdriver flathead. Oh, this doesn't fit. Hold on. Use like a Phillips or flathead, whatever fits through there. You're gonna put it in there. And then, tie it with a 17. Really good. Let's tighten that bitch down and that should be good. So yeah, that's how you pretty much lower it on the front shocks and I'm gonna do the same process on the other side too. So that's looking really, really well by the way. But yeah, anyways guys, check out the difference. I was planning on putting the cover back on but it just looked goofy and it's gonna flop around so I just took it off. But yeah, I got the skateboard bushing on there, the 17 mil. Yeah, I mean, it looks really good. So. At least about inch and a half, I want to say. So, yeah, I mean, here, let's line up the spring here and everything. So, yeah, about an inch, inch and a half, yeah. So, yeah, nice, all right, very nice. I mean, you guys can't see the difference here before and after. That's a before and that's an after. So, yeah, other than that, I'm going to do that side too, so let's do that. And that's that for the front. Now moving on to the rears. Oh man, that looks 10 times better. At least lost about an inch and a half. So that's gonna lower it pretty damn well, I would say. Wow, that looks good. <laughs> that looks really good, honestly. All right, so I compressed the rear shocks with zip ties. I had my grandma sit on here and zip tied it up. This bolt on the top here is gonna be a 14 mil. And then the bottom one, this one right here, is going to be 12 mil. So I'm going to take that out. All 
Alright, so I couldn't really show you guys on the camera because my battery's eating up. But anyways, I'll show what I kind of did here. So, I stick the flathead in here and then pretty much hammer it down from the top like really hard. And then twisted it so I can put the 17 mil wrench in it. So that way I can loosen that bolt up. So yeah, let's loosen that bitch up. This is gonna be sketchy as fuck. <sighs> Let me put some gloves on before it flings on me because I heard the rear ones can fling on you, so... Alright, this is gonna be scary. This is scary. There you go. Got it out. Whew! <laughs> Oh my god, that felt good. That was so scary, but I got it out, boys. Oh my god, let me focus on that. There you go, so I got it out just like that. Man, that was crazy. Sheesh. Alright, but anyways, guys, let me loosen up the 17 mil bolt while I'm holding on it, just like that. On the right side that you guys can see is the old bushing, and on the left side is the new skateboard bushing that I'm going to be putting in. I thought about just leaving it with the old bushing, but... It's pretty old and wearing out, so I'm gonna use the new skateboard bushing and see how this thing works. So yeah. 14 and 12 to tighten it down. 14 on the top, 12 in the bottom. And 12 on the bottom. And that should be good. Very nice. Cool. All right guys, moment of truth. Let's see, how low can you go? Oh. No way! That's only the rear. Imagine with the fronts, dude. That would be G freaking gnarly with that. Good damn, dude. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty like low, man. Holy fuck! God damn. Let me see. It's not that bad. Oh, the right pole is gonna suck. Hey. Yep. But oh well. That's that. Oh, yeah. All right. Anzo. Nice. So one of the next steps that I'm going to be doing is replacing the steering column. Since the previous owner got into a wreck with this moped, and then the steering column is bent. So this is the replacement one. And then, yeah, I'm going to be replacing it. So the replacement one I just lowered, as you guys saw. So that's ready to go. So I just, you know throw that in there and then before I throw that in there once I take it off I'll probably gonna paint that so that way I don't have to redo the whole process again over and over so we're getting pretty close there so yeah but yeah, it should be running up soon I really want to start to mop it up but before I do that I want to flush all the fluids including the gas the fuel tank and also the oil I want to flush all that out and then have the fresh new oil and fuel in there ready to go. And then I do have the 80 board kit, the 80 swap kit, but I don't think I'm going to install that quite yet. But I'm thinking doing is replacing this muffler to a nicer muffler, nicer and louder muffler. So it gives that nice quality sound. So yeah. But anyways guys, that will do for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Finally. My project moped, the Honda Aero 50, is back to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button because that really helps grow my channel and I can do more builds on it. So please do that. Bye now, guys. Peace out and stay thirsty, my friends.